Hi Virgos, welcome to your transit report. Now, we are here, so meaning you've seen the big report, the big chunk of it at Eat Read Love Inc. That is where we discuss the Mercury in retrograde on March 5th at Uttara Bhadrapada, so make sure you watch it. And then here we discuss the rising sign Virgo and the moon sign. Now, are you ready? Because I am. Here we go, Virgos. Now, Virgo, it is happening. Mm-hmm. For the Virgo rising, this is your rising sign, Mercury is happening in your seventh house. Partnership, relationship, marriage. This is it. This is that part. Now, what you have to expect with your partner, Virgo rising and Virgo moon, is one, okay, you might be drawn to the person even further. Okay, there might be an energy between the two of you that is becoming more closer. Mercury is making you feel more abundant. I'm not sure why, but Mercury is not comfortable here. But I always say this, and especially here in your seventh house, when a planet is in retrograde, uh, I'll focus more on your par partner. When the planet is in retrograde, um, Virgo, it gives us a chance, this is from what I've experienced, to change okay, part of our destiny, not everything. Okay? So you, can, you could have 70% destiny and then 30%, you know, like you can still wing it. Okay? So it gives us that benefit. Okay? And this one, it's asking you also to communicate more clearly with the person, with the partner, with people around you. Because remember, seventh house is the people around you, relationships. But of course, most, and most uh, often, this is related to your romantic connection. Now, it's asking you to address some issues with them. Now, when you communicate, there are more chances for you guys to miscommunicate at this time. So make sure you pay attention to the details on how you speak. Because chances are you just might speak out of the whim and then, you know, here comes um, basically argument. So be careful. There's more chances of miscommunication on people around you. This can be your co-workers, it can be your friends, um, you know, but friends is 11th house. But again, people that you establish a certain relationship, business partners uh, from what I mentioned. Okay, so very focus on the partnership energy as far as March 5th. Try not, you know, try to, basically I would advise you to really walk on thin ice just for this time. And then after that, everything is going to be going smoothly. Okay, remember Mercury is debilitated in this nakshatra and Mercury doesn't like to be there. So it is not good to communicate, just letting your hearts out, it won't be good. Alrighty, so I wish this information was was has been helpful for you. Um, we do have remedies if you guys if you guys vibe with me, then the remedies that I use is I send it out. There is also a discount until March fifth. I wish you guys have a wonderful March. Bye, Virgos.